Hello everyone, I'm Noxious Asp, and welcome to another installment of my series, Machine Spotlight, where we take a closer look at some of the new and returning machines found in Horizon Forbidden West. In this installment, we'll be shining the spotlight on the Frost Claw. The Frost Claw, along with the Fire Claw and Scorcher, were originally introduced in the Frozen Wilds expansion for Horizon Zero Dawn. The Frost Claw was created by the AI Hephaestus at Cauldron Epsilon in an attempt to strengthen his grasp on Firebreak, an old world geothermal facility in the cut. Although unsuccessful, Hephaestus took his design and continues to manufacture this deadly machine across the Cauldron Network, eventually making its way to the snowy wilds of the Forbidden West. The Frost Claw most closely resembles a bear, more specifically a polar bear, due to its white armor plating and tendency to dwell in colder, snow-covered climates. Chainsaw-like attachments line the machine's forearms. Being of the acquisition class of machines, the Frost Claw primarily uses these to help obtain precious materials from machine carcasses. True to its name, the Frost Claw utilizes its chill water stores to augment its attacks with sharpened ice with deadly ferocity. In this video, I will be covering key information on the Frost Claw, including its locations, weak points, combat strategies, and more. If you find yourself enjoying this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Let's start with the Frost Claw's locations on the map. The Frost Claw is quite rare with only two dedicated machine sites. The first Mark site is located in the valley just north of the Tanakh Sky Clan capital, the Bulwark. Here, you can normally find a single Frost Claw along with some nearby Fire Claw Striders and Lance Horns. However, you may get lucky and have two Frost Claws spawn. The only other marked site is located high atop the mountain range southwest of the Bulwark. Here, you can find a lone Frost Claw as well as some Fire Fanghorns. While there are only two sites where a Frost Claw will spawn, you can also encounter a mission specific Frost Claw during the mission A Soldier's March. I definitely recommend checking out this mission if you haven't already. Next, let's take a look at the Frost Claw's machine catalog entry. Frost Claw, a level 24 acquisition midweight machine, an extremely fierce acquisition machine that moves far more quickly than its size suggests. Its vast stores of chill water power its deadly frost attacks. It is weak versus fire and shock damage, and strong versus frost damage. Notable loot includes metal shards, piercing spike, chill water, frost claw circulator, machine muscle. Frost Claw Primary Nerve, Medium Machine Core, Braided Wire, Sturdy Hard Plate, and Metal Bone. Let's also take a look at the machine catalog entry for the only other variants of the Frost Claw, the Apex Frost Claw. Apex Frost Claw, a level 38 acquisition midweight machine, a hunter killer variant recognizable by black and gold armor plates and purple muscles. It has been modified to be significantly more resilient and deadly. It cannot be overridden. It is weak versus fire damage and strong versus frost and shock damage. Available loot is similar to the regular variants with the addition of a 67% drop rate for Apex Frost Claw Heart. Now let's study the Frost Claw's weak points so that we can exploit them in battle. Two chill water sacks lie protected beneath armor plating on the Frost Claw's shoulders, which act as chill water storage. Remove the armor plating and destroy them both to disable some of the frost attacks, and trigger an explosion. Two sparkers act as shock storage and rest atop the frost claw's back, concealed by armor plating. Tear off the armor plating and either detach them to collect the resource, or shoot with a well-aimed shock arrow to detonate and inflict the shocked state. Two resource containers rest atop the Frost Claw's haunches. What exactly does the Frost Claw store in there? Tear them off to find out. Probably tater tots. The centralized chill water unit powers a majority of the Frost Claw's frost attacks. Destroy it along with both chill water sacks to permanently inflict the frost state and to disable all frost attacks. Keep in mind, if you want the coveted Frost Claw sack webbing for gear upgrades, you must leave it intact. Next, let's familiarize ourselves with the Frost Claw's range of attacks. Dodge to avoid its deadly sitting down after a long day at work attack. There is no safe distance as the Frost Claw can throw icy rocks. Watch out for its lunge attacks as well as its targeting ice spike attack. Keep moving to avoid it. 
dodge to avoid its quick slashing attack and don't stay too close. Almost got me with that hug. This is one of very few specially animated attacks in the game and it can inflict a lot of damage. Dodge under its legs to avoid its hailstorm attack. Here the frost claw shows off its surprising agility. Get too close and you'll get caught in its ground pound attack. Once you have inflicted enough damage, the Frost Claw will activate its Ice Storm ability, which causes it to spew out damaging frost in close proximity, as well as negates any other elemental or status states. It also attacks more aggressively in this state. Take everything you've learned from this video, and you'll be able to conquer Frost Claws with ease. The Frost Claw can indeed be overridden, however you will first need to complete Cauldron Chi and obtain its overrides. I will now demonstrate overriding a Frost Claw in the wild. We'll set it to aggressive and unleash it upon the nearby Lance Horns and Apex Frost Claw. After a long battle, our overridden Frostclaw triumphs over the Apex Frostclaw and mops up the last of the Lancehorns. With its strength and speed, the Frostclaw proves to be quite entertaining to override. That concludes this installment of Machine Spotlight, where we took an in-depth look at the ferocious Frostclaw. Let me know what you think of the Frostclaw in the comments below. I feel like the Frost Claw often gets overshadowed by its bigger cousin, the Fire Claw, but I found it a welcome addition when it was introduced in the Frozen Wilds. If you like this video or learned something new, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this, and check out my other Machine Spotlight videos. As always, I'm Noxious Asp. Thanks for watching.